The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Bertin, brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City, the name you've trusted for years, Geico, the insurance savings you expect, Supreme Chevrolet, expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez, Total Car Care, Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge, Bollinger Shipyards, 75 years of delivering high quality vessels, and The Bug Man, we get them before they get you. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi everyone, welcome back. We're actually gonna make this one show with Kramer with the Fulgham Twins. We're gonna talk about them, the quarterback for Evangel and the receiver. They have other receivers, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to have the brothers come out, the twins. I mean, nothing better than that. Uh, but Kramer Hagen, appreciate him being on the offense coordinator uh, to start the show out. And then the next show, we're going to have two more Evangel players, Jacob Carpenter and Gabriel Relford, who's an incredible defensive end committed to Texas A&M right now. Um, without waiting any longer, I feel like I'm 90 years old because I know the dad of these young men. <laughs> and when you, their dad was a high school senior, I got in the business. You know, that was my crazy. first year in the business. Yes, sir. It's crazy. When Josh Booty, your dad, we did an event in Baton Rouge at a Holiday Inn. And it was a recruiting event, and we were giving them trophies. And Josh was player of the year, obviously. And they came down, Johnny and your grandfather came down, and they all came down, and we had 400 people show up from Baton Rouge, like standing room only. Yeah. It was like, LSU, and then and he signs baseball. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then years go by, let's fast track. He's like, I got two sons, man, playing in Evangel. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, they're eighth graders. You're going to know about them? And I think your dad was living in Dallas at the time. Yes, I'm like, man, I, gotta, I can't wait for these guys to be in high school. And sure enough, ninth grade year, y'all yep. are out there throwing pitch and catch in the games. Trying, and our, trying our best. Yes, unbelievable. Yes. You're the quarterback. Yes, Tell sir. everybody who you are. I'm Peyton Fulgham. I play quarterback at Avenger. And I'm and Parker, Parker. Fulgham, and I play wide receiver. Brothers. What's it like to have a brother, not just on the team, but you're throwing him the ball? You know, it's pretty it's – pretty, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just dreams do come true. You know, growing up, you, I was throwing a, I was on pass to him every day. You know, we really didn't play any video games or anything like that yeah. growing up. So it was always like, let's just get outside and throw. And so, you know, we've been growing up throwing every single day of our lives pretty much. And I think, you know, I, I can only count on one hand probably how many days we haven't been throwing to each other. And so, you know, it's just always having him at every game, always being able to throw to him has just been great. What do you think, Parker, with your brother Peyton throwing you the ball? Uh, a lot of a lot of people say that, uh, you know, me and him, it's it's ridiculous. Like, our defense doesn't like covering us at practice because, you know, it's hard. Y'all know but, the feel. It's, yeah, uh, but that's, that's just uh, how it's been all high school. We have a connection that's just different than other people. He knows where I'm at at all times, and I kind of know where he is mentally. And so. Yeah, y'all have other players. Um, it's special, I just think, to have brothers on together. And, yes, sir. Um, starting four years together. And your dad was at the same school yes. way back. Um, your dad's a real good friend of mine. What I really like too is every time your dad calls me, he flies in yep. to a game. Yes, sir. He's in Miami now flying in. I know he can't wait to go to y'all's games. Yes, and, sir. Um, speaking with Parker, you're, I know stats doesn't matter like for scholarships, but in your case, your stats are just crazy. How many catches do you have? You know, I had like 70, I think 79 my sophomore year. I had 89 last year. And uh, with that tough loss, I probably could have had 100 and 100. You almost had 100. Yeah, and then freshman year I had like 25 or something. I was hurt half the year. But so I'm coming up on, I'm coming up on 200. Isn't that crazy? Your brother's got that kind of. And it's not that y'all were trying to. Yeah. It's just, you know. It's how it works. But I give it all to him because he threw every single one of them. Yeah, I mean, y'all got Tariq and some other people. Yeah, and this year, it's not like your freshman, sophomore year when you were really the only healthy receiver. Oh, no, be, we got some weapons. Y'all got a yeah. ton of receivers now. Definitely. He's gonna get, we, have, we have real weapons now. He's going to get even more targets this year because we got other guys to take some of the weight off his shoulders. Too. Plus, you'll be more healthy because you're not getting hit every play, yeah. double teamed every yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. Yep. double, triple teamed. You're only like 70, 80 catches from breaking some records. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is. And then you, you, you know, got all these weapons now. What's it uh, like? Your freshman year had no weapons uh, on My freshman year, we really, we really came up from nothing. You know, it was super hard, and, and you had to realize it at the time. It was like, 
you know, you got to keep telling yourself it's not going to be like yeah. this forever. And, you know, now we're living in the time that it's, it's, yeah. it's gotten a lot better. Yeah. You know, our time is now. Now, you grew up, both of you guys grew up with that whole line, too. Yes, sir. And now they're all big guys and yes, seniors. What's it like given – I know Jacob Carpenter is going to join us in a yep. minute. But having guys that are so close – Yes. Blocking for you, giving you a chance to throw to your brother and other players. It's impressive. You know, I think we got one of the most dominant, if not the most dominant offensive line units as a whole in the state. And, uh, you know, my left tackle, Tristan Santoro, my right tackle, Christian Spady, y'all are going to hear more about him. He's young. My center, obviously, Jacob Carpenter. Um, those three guys alone are just huge guys. And, and you know, they want to get out there and they're trying to they're trying to beat whoever's in front of them. I remember meeting Tristan when he was a ball boy before he yeah. played. Yeah. I was like, who's this six foot six ball boy? Yeah. Like, oh, he's playing next year, right? Yeah. Um, so defense, y'all got Gabriel, y'all got a stud young linebacker. Yeah. It's coming up. Y'all got some great DBs again. Mm -hmm. Really good. This young, is this is good. exciting, isn't it? It's 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 the times that everybody waits and prays for. You know, it's it's here, you know, and going against those guys every day just makes us so much better. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna talk more to the Fulgham brothers at Evangel Christian. We got Carpenter coming up, uh, Gabriel, they're gonna join us, their teammates. There's like 10, 12, 13, might be 15 kids that could sign in this class when it's said and done. Um, which will be it's been a long time since Evangel's had that. And we're gonna talk more about their hobbies and colleges and that stuff. I know that one of the brothers is a good baseball player too and we'll talk about all that when we come back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Total Car Care, Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Welcome back, Lee King with the Sports Scouting Report podcast. Uh, I want to make sure I don't make the mom upset or the dad or the grandmothers, but tell them the pronunciation of your last name. I'm sorry. Fulgham. It's Fulgham. Like a, it sounds like it's a J, but it's actually a G, but yeah, Fulgham. Fulgham. I, and people call me Brecken and Breachin, and I'm Burkeen, so I, I get it. I no, get totally, it. No, totally. No, um, totally. But going back to you guys and, and this being the senior year, some love to you, Coach. What do you think? What does Denny mean to both of you? First of all, I'll go with uh, uh, Coach Pay. You know, Pastor Denny's like my probably my most favorite human outside of my family. I love him to death. He's like a father figure, grandpa to me. And so I've got to really grow up with him. When I first came to Evangel, uh, you know, he was my – he was like my – mentor and, and whatever you want to say he was like my counselor like he was just he would always he'd always be down to talk and help you with anything so having that guy as a football coach is just pretty you know it's pretty awesome and you think about the past of Evangel and it's like he is the past you know yeah. all the great stuff he's done for people and for the school and for the football team it's like this guy's a living walking legend that we're getting to you know be with every day and learn from every day and you know one thing that I've learned from I've learned many things but probably the thing that I take away the most is like perfection everything just has to be perfect and you know it, you'll play you'll play a great game on Friday if you mm -hmm. worry about everything in practice being perfect every single yeah. rep and just winning every rep and yeah. striving for perfection he doesn't he doesn't tell us to think about going and winning the game he tells us to just think about perfection and with perfection winning comes and so you know learning that from him along with everything else we learned has been such a blessing and you know I really I really don't know how I would have made it through high school without him Parker what do you think Man, he's a, he's such a role model, and just like Peyton said, like he's all just focused on the little things. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we have a, a board in our uh, in our team meeting room, and it's all these different things that he wants us to be perfect at, and that we work at, and uh, and all those things come together, and that's what makes a great Friday night player, and eventually Saturday night as well. But he's he's been my pastor for six years, and now my coach for the last four. And I, I don't think I could ask for anybody else. He's been such a great guy, such a great mentor, such a great coach. He walked away from pro ball to start a church. Yep. That's not every day. No, Just sir. walk away from pro football with the Redskins. Yes, yeah. sir. I mean, was high that's, draft pick that's, and everything. That's hearing from God for real. Yeah, that's it. That. Yes, sir. And uh, was a great player at Tech. I want to promote yeah. Tech. 100%. Yeah. Uh, I know that in the staff, I've been around him since I got in the business, and he's always been really – Nice to me too, and um, 
Your full recovery, Danny, too, by the way, because uh, that's why he's not here today. Yeah, yeah, but yes, So hobbies, uh, I'll start with Peyton. What, do you, what are your hobbies outside of sports? Outside of sports, I mean, obviously, really my two biggest <clears> hobbies <throat> are just swinging in the cages or throwing the parker. But outside of that, I love to, I love to duck hunt. I spend the majority of my time duck hunting, and so that's pretty much all we do. And he has a chance to be a really good baseball prospect for college as well. You yes, hit sir. over 440 yes, last sir. year. And yes, sir. What, what about your hobbies? Uh, Man, uh, you know, I play baseball too. I can't hit as well, but uh, you know, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a pretty decent pitcher. Um, I'm not looking to do that in college though. But uh, you know, I love golf. Me and him both play golf. Okay. We love it. Um, that's a thing. He's, he's a lot better than me in golf. Okay, season, I got you. There he's you a lot go. Better me in golf. During baseball season, it's a lot. During the week, and then during football season, it's just the weekends. Um, but um, golf and then same thing, duck hunting is a huge thing for us and our family. Now, obviously, y'all have got a lot of family history with LSU with your dad, Josh Booty. Um, y'all like LSU, y'all tell me, right? Y'all like sir, I like, I like LSU a lot, yes, sir. You know, so. I, love, I love LSU. I love uh, the intensity. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's the place you want to be, you know, as a kid uh, watching it, especially being from Louisiana. Y'all went to the regionals for baseball. Well, that was crazy, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. That was like, this is amazing. Yes, sir. It was yeah. crazy. It was wild. Did Josh come in for that? or? Oh, uh, no, sir. We went with my aunt. Okay. And y'all have a Dallas Cowboys connection, right? Your yeah. mom, yes, sir. right? Our mom, our mom was actually a golden girl at LSU, and then uh, she actually cheered for the Cowboys, too. Yeah. So. Dallas Cowboys. She made it to the NFL before any of us did. That's so. right. That's right. Yeah. That's, there you go. Yeah. Your dad was with the Browns and the, yes, and the Raiders, yeah. and your mom was with yeah. the Dallas yeah. Cowboys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any, any final words that y'all want to say about the year and the team? Shoot, we're ready. We're coming for it all. We ex we have high expectations. This is this is the first year that you know we've came into a season uh, with the same playbook we had last season. So just expect you know a different, uh, more explosive team, even more explosive than we were last year. So it's gonna be great, and a lot of records will be broken. Yeah. Well, I know your dad's proud of you, Josh, yes, and I appreciate yes, you joining Thank us. You, sir. Thank you, Thank you. Appreciate you guys. We'll uh, be back. We're gonna have a different show with two other Evangel seniors coming up in this class. This great class. We're going to meet Jacob and also uh, Gabriel. Uh, we'll talk about them and, and their leadership. O-line and D-line. you got to have those guys to win championships. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Lieber King.